I've been there many times, man. I've seen that look in his eye. I know he's going all out, world class, full customization in this car. It's gonna be so gorgeous. He's probably gonna be afraid to drive it because he doesn't want it to get dirty. But I get it, man. It's in his blood just like it's in mine. That's why he's my right hand man. If there's one thing reality TV shows know how to do, it's to make normal people into popular people. Shows like Counting Cars have taken mechanics, painters, and even eccentric garage owners from relative obscurity to worldwide fame. And that is a good thing, most times anyway. However, the drawback with these shows is that once you get off them, it's really difficult to make a comeback to television. Once that fame is gone, it's gone forever. Unlike actors and actresses, the cast of reality TV shows cannot simply just find other shows to star in if they get off a show on television. Their characters are not malleable, and they are fixed into one stereotype. This is why fans of Ryan Evans were really surprised when they started hearing rumors that he would no longer be on Counting Cars anymore. Not only did his potential disappearance from the show mean that he would no longer star in it, but it also meant they might never see him on television again. Once his fans started hearing these rumors, fantastic theories began to spread about the reasons he left the show in the first place. One rumor that took root was that Danny Coker, his boss, fired him because he embarrassed the shop. The rumor was not clear on the nature of the embarrassment, but people ran with it anyway because that's what they do. Another rumor was that he got into an awful accident and would be physically incapable of being on the show. The rumors got stronger when the network airing the show refused to say a single thing about Evan's potential disappearance. It was almost like he didn't exist. Of course, we don't expect the network to put out a press release anytime there's a rumor that one of their stars is leaving their show. However, we also do not expect every other cast member to keep mum about the potential acts of a colleague from a show. That is why we decided to get to the bottom of this issue with some creative digging. Will Ryan Evans be on the next season of Counting Cars? We guess it's time for you to find out. In this video, we'll be exhaustively looking at the timeline of Ryan Evans joining Counting Cars and we will be revealing the real reason why people think he'll no longer be on the show. Trust us, the reason will undoubtedly surprise you. We didn't want to believe it when we found out about it. When the TV series Counting Cars started on television, it was a spin-off series from Pawn Stars. And like with most spin-offs, most people did not expect too much from it. But Counting Cars blew everyone away by being extremely popular and getting itself a whole new set of fans. It got so popular that people forgot that it was a spin-off series at some point. They assumed that it was standalone, which is a lot of credit to Danny Coker, who's also known as The Count, and his band of merry repairmen. When Ryan Evans joined Coker's Band of Mary Repairmen, there was not even a County Car show. He simply applied to work at Count's Customs, which was the name of Coker's shop. However, when the Discovery Channel decided to turn Danny Coker into a television star, Evans also got the chance to be one. Now, Evans was not supposed to have any extraordinary role on the show. He was just supposed to be an average painter, doing his part as part of the painting team. He never expected to become famous and certainly never expected to have quite the following in the gearhead community. In the first episode of the show, which debuted in 2012, he was not even part of the main cast. His only appearance in the show, in fact, came when someone ordered a Harley Davidson to be painted with similar artwork to what was on the client's body. He was not even allowed to introduce himself or utter a single word. However, by the third season of the show, he became a regular face. He even won a competition to determine the best employee of the year. He got a 1975 Chevrolet Suburban for his efforts too. By the fourth season, Evans had gone from being just a random face in the shop to being a main member of the cast. Now, this was not because of something incredible that Ryan did. Instead, it was because senior members of the show left the show or were fired, and Ryan had an opportunity to step up and become a regular face on the show. As his role expanded, he also got new benefits. For example, his face was now part of the opening credits when Coker introduced his crew. Over the next few seasons, Evans played his most iconic roles on the show. His first memorable role was when he introduced a new spray technique to Coker. Coker wanted to blacken out the chrome on a Cadillac and then flip it, but Evans told him that he simply could not do something so abhorrent to a Cadillac. However, the Count did not want to re-chrome the car because that would be too expensive and would not make the flip worth it. At this point, Evans told him that he would think of a new way to re-chrome the vehicle without spending any more money. 
This technique, Evans argued, would only require a few chemicals and an activator. This process would save more money than the very expensive chrome dipping process. When Evans was done, the vehicle looked truly incredible and Coker was able to flip it for a lot of money. Another iconic moment for him on the show was when he was inducted into the 2018 Mini Truck Hall of Fame for his contributions as a painter. Most of the cast members were super happy for him and were even there to celebrate the induction with him. One more memorable moment that Evans had on the show was when he was under immense pressure to produce an impeccable paint job for a 1961 Cadillac Coupe de Ville. Coker had partnered with Matrix Automobile Finishes for the job, and Evans was mandated to use the latest Matrix paint system for the Cadillac. The Cadillac was going to be at the SEMA trade show that year, and it was vital for Evans to get it right since the shop's entry every year always got in. Since Evans was now the head painter of the shop, his reputation was on the line, and he needed to get the painting right. To make sure the car came out as perfect as it could be, Evans put in all the work he could. He had numerous sleepless nights and even hurt himself because he was being so careful with the job. In the end, the job came out perfectly. He was able to incorporate the original color of the Cadillac, which was teal, and the whole thing ended up looking magnificent. One episode that many Evans fans will always remember was a job with rock legend Alice Cooper. When Cooper drove into Count's Customs one day, a lot of the staff could not believe it. Cooper was this huge, larger than life rock star, and it was such honor that he thought they could work on his car. The vehicle was a 1963 stud Baker Avanti, and it was pretty old. Cooper wanted to replace everything with the car, including its engines, the paint, and all the malfunctioning parts of the car. The rock legend said that he would ordinarily have sold the car, but he recently learned that a Soviet spy was apprehended by the FBI in it, and he didn't want to lose such a valuable piece of history. Fixing the car was pretty difficult, but the mechanics managed to do it, and Evans gave it a stunning fresh coat of paint that left Alice Cooper beaming from ear to ear. Like Danny Coker himself, Ryan Evans does not like speaking about his personal life on TV at all. He tries to keep that part of his life off the screen. Sure, he might have appeared with his wife on screen a few times, but aside from that, he's mostly happy to just do his work. A cursory glance at his Instagram page, though, would tell you that he loves his wife and children very much and simply cannot stop talking about them. Interestingly, starting in 2019, Evans changed and stopped posting anything at all about his wife and kids. After watching hours and hours and hours and even more of Ryan Evans and Danny Coker on TV, we saw nothing to suggest that Evans was in trouble with his boss. We also saw nothing to substantiate the rumors that Evans was leaving counting cars. In fact, we actually saw the opposite of that evidence. His social media accounts and even the official Facebook account of The Garage indicate that Ryan Evans is still very much on the show and has not been sacked. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, it was all a rumor and nothing but. So, you may ask, what led to this rumor? We don't know, but we think the fact that Counting Cars is yet to get another season after almost 8 months since its airing might be a contributing factor. What do you think?